Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in my today's video, I'm going to be showing you products that I actually bought when I went to India. If you guys are not aware, I am a big, big fan of the Juicy Chemistry products. I've been using their products for a really, really long time, even when they were not as big as they are right now. So yeah, if you guys want to know what products I got, then please keep on watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And also hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a video. So the first one is this Juicy Chemistry Argan and Mango Butter Mask which is a pre-shampoo hair spa. Now I really really love this. I've been using this product for almost about 4 years if I'm not wrong. I think back in 2000. 14 is when I started using Juicy Chemistry products and I use their lavender oil. It's very very good Along with that I do use the argan and the mango butter mask. I got a smaller one this time I usually buy the bigger one, uh, but I do have some of it left so you know by the time we visit India next time this would be over. So the next one that I got was this rose almond shea butter body scrub for dry and tan skin. Now um, I get tanned very very easily and I really don't mind the tan. It's just the uneven tan that I don't like. So I got this one and this is like a body butter. I actually spoke about a scrub in my skincare favorites video and I really like their uh, scrubs. It's like a body scrub butter because it has shea butter in it. Oh my god this smells so good. I don't want to open up the entire thing because I only want to open it up when I no, I'm actually going to use it. It smells so good. And the next one that I got was the Elang Elang and Lavender Daily Cleanser. Now, this is like a scrub kind of thing. So, basically, you just mix it a little bit of water and you scrub it on your face. Now, you need to just make sure that don't scrub your face every day because you're just getting rid of the natural oil. And the next one that I got was the... Bulgarian lavender and black rice cleanser for normal to oily skin. Now I have combination skin I mean, it's only like around the t-zone where I kind of get oily But otherwise I'm kind of dry and it's like a powder So basically you just mix it again with a little bit of water and then put it on your face and rub it in like circular motions So yeah, I'm excited to try all these products. I mean, I haven't tried these ones uh, the ones that I have tried, I'll let you guys know. Uh, the next one that I have is the French Green Clay and Chamomile Body and Feet Mart Mask. So I have tried this one. I really, really like it. What I do is I mix it with a little bit of yogurt and then I put it on my face. I love it. I just love my... The smell is like... The next one that I picked up is this unscented mango butter for sensitive skin type. That is a very good thing and this is about 15 grams. So you guys know that I do suffer from eczema and I cannot put too many um, moisturizers that are fragrant. Since this is natural and organic, I believe they don't have that and this would suit my skin. I want to give it a try. I don't know how it is but since it says that it is for sensitive skin type, I'm excited to use this and it is unscented so that's a very good thing they don't have like the fragrances in it it's just the natural fragrance that is there in the butter itself okay so the next thing that I got was this rose and sandalwood again this is a mask I am a sucker for mask like I love using mask on my face I mean come on I am 30 and you know I need some mask for my face okay so um this is the rose and sandalwood for normal to oily skin again you just got to mix a little bit with a little water in a bowl and then put it on your face let it dry just the old same mask stuff i have used this before and that's why i purchased this i love this mask and let me just tell you guys in no way is this video sponsored i bought every single thing by my own money every single thing okay uh, the next thing that I got was this coffee, chocolate and maca root hydrating face and body mask. Again, you mix it with a little bit of water or milk and then put it on your face. Let it dry for 15 minutes and then take it off. Now, if you guys are not aware, coffee is very, very good for your skin. You might see a lot of people doing these DIY face masks, adding coffee and honey. This smells so good. Like this is just coffee granules and uh, chocolate and maca. I mean, come on, all good things in one, right? The next one that I got was the Sweet Orange Cinnamon and Honey Body Polish. Now this is a body polish. Basically it's just to you know get rid of your dead skin. Products over here I have used them before. So 
The only reason I bought them was because I like it. Okay, so the next one that I got was this Argan and Rose moisturizer with natural SPF. Now, this is the 75 ml one, if I'm not wrong. Smaller version that I have. I just have a little bit of it left. I really, really like this. This is probably my third or fourth purchase. They have changed bottles so many times. Like, I think this used to come in like a, like a plastic bottle with a small pump. And now they have changed it to a dropper like this, which I love. It is so good because, you know, it's like very fancy to have those kind of Instagram videos so anyway this is a very good thing I've been using this for such a long time I cannot even tell you um, and it comes with SPF so that is a very very good thing so the next thing that I got was this cold pressed rose hip oil this is a carrier oil now I am actually not sure if you can use this just as is hold on let me see Yes, you can use it just as is. So you guys know that rose hip oil is so like the in thing to do. If you see the Farsali rose gold oil, uh, the first ingredient over there is the rose hip oil. Like pretty much all these droppers that they you know come with the body oil or the face oil that they have. Most of them are rose hip oil. So this is just pure rose hip oil. No additional ingredients in it. It's so, so nourishing for your face. It's high in vitamin C and it is an antioxidant. So that's very, very good. Um, and yeah, it also helps in getting rid of your hyperpigmentation. So that's a very good thing, you guys. So I just purchased this because I know I would be using it. I'm so the next thing that I got was this cold pressed sweet almond oil. Now, um, again, you can put this all over your face. It has vitamin A, B1, B2, B6, E and also it is very good for your hair. So next I got these three face mists over here. This is the rose water, this is the aloe vera and this is the lavender. I mean, I love mist. And then also I got this lemon and spearmint lip butter. Now I'm not sure if I paid for this or this was just complimentary along with the purchases that I made. I'm really not sure. Okay, so the next thing that I got is again another carrier oil. Now this is the grapeseed oil. Now grapeseed oil is super, 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 super good for your skin. And again, you can put it on your face and it is very good for your damaged skin. It reduces the appearance of your marks. Um, so that's what it says at the back of the uh, bottle right here. The next thing I got is this organic castor oil. The castor oil is really, really good, especially if you want to grow your eyelashes. Use a, just a teeny, teeny bit of castor oil. Dip a Q-tip in and then just put a little bit on your eyelashes and you know, it is so good. I actually used to use it for my eyebrows. Um, back in 2010, my eyebrows became so, so thin, like they were pencil thin, uh, just because I used to, uh, you know, do eyebrows very often and it was a mess and at that time I used castor oil and the growth of my hair was like super. Since these are organic, I know that they don't have any additive preservatives and the fact that these products only last for about six months talks a lot about the freshness of the product. And then the last product that I have is the Helic Chrysum and Rosehip Oil. Now this is a cell construction oil. I think I spoke about this in my last year's uh, favorites. Um, I actually have a smaller bottle. So this was a smaller bottle that they have and this is a bigger bottle that they have. So yeah, I have been using the cell reconstruction oil and the argan oil for I think about four years. Ever since they launched this, I've been having it in my stash. And then I have a couple more over here and this is the uh, Pain Relief Balm, Eucalyptus and Winter Green and I mean this is like you know it smells like tiger balm actually and also there is one uh, peppermint and tea tree hand and foot cream I mean I need this hand and foot cream because my heels get so cracked so easily I definitely need that and then this is the lavender and the lemon bath salts and foot soak so this is something basically I can put it in the bathtub and just have a nice shower and who doesn't need a little bit of TLC you guys so yeah, that's pretty much it you guys. These were all the products that I got from Juicy Chemistry and I really, really like these products and that's why I have been buying uh, these products for almost about four years. So if you like this video guys, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you guys want me to do an entire video about just skincare routine, which is not really much, but whatever it is, I'll have a video out for you guys. So comment below if you want me to put up a video and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching you guys. Until next time, bye-bye.